Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back and happy Thanksgiving to you guys in the United States, everybody else. Well, happy Thanksgiving to you from the USA. But anyway, stupid me just thought everybody still had thanks Thanksgiving on the same day. But nope, Canada doesn't. I'm sure the UK doesn't either. But okay, so today we're going to do this woven pocket, which was inspired by Gail Augustinelli. Now hers, she did hers a four and a half by four and a half, but I wanted to do mine more of a rectangle. I know it had to be difficult. I want to do mine more of a rectangle and I wanted it to fill the page more. So that's what I went with. But her four, four and a half by four and a half seem much easier but anyway but I had to difficult it up and make it my way which you know so we're not going to do this with the um the mega bow set which is the junk journal studio which has the mirror images just because I'll be honest with you that took the longest time is cutting these bows out but that's what I wanted when I saw Gail do this thing this actually popped into my head way back when and this is how these little bow things kind of came to my head and then the um that other tag that I did and then you know that's how I asked Michelle at the Junk Journal Studio studio to make these things for me so we're using the Junk Journal Studio the mega bows and the Junk Journal Studio all things Christmas and then this is just um, paper pad and Christmas paper that I had from um, I believe all this came from Hobby Lobby this might be Joann's but anyway I think it's mostly Hobby Lobby so let's let me show you what this is before we get going into it so this is the large journal card and this is um, oh this is the uh, Christmas dailies no I, I lied Vertical Christmas words from the Junk Journal Studio. Shoot, I better write this down. Okay. <laughs> or I will not remember. Vertical Christmas words. Ouch. Um, mega bows. And all things Christmas. Okay, just so I can make sure I put that. Let me put me a little arrow so I can see back. <laughs> see back. Okay, now. So, this is Vertical Christmas Words from the Junk Journal Studio. This is one I made. This is Mega Bows from the Junk Journal Studio. And then all these little things that we have on here is... Um, all things Christmas from the junk journal studio so this is the um, journal card which I cut it um, four by seven inches tall now if you sew you're gonna need to make it three and three-fourths inches because after you sew you kind of lose about a quarter of an inch in order you know so you can glue it to your page so you're gonna have to make your little card a little bit smaller if you sew but the one we're gonna make next is not sewn and it doesn't have bows so there you go Bridget I'm making one with no bows because Bridget hates bows <laughs> so but I love them I thought they turned out really cute I know it's a little busy but pff, it's Candace thing so that's that all right so let me put this aside and then these are the pockets and the little tags that go in them and like I said what took me the longest was cutting these bows so I could do front and back mirror, mirror images, but oh well, that's what I wanted for this. So there you go, that's those. And I'm sure some of y'all saw Gail do hers. Now I went and put little little thumb notches on here just so you know it's a pocket. Um, she did not do hers with the little things she just did on the back. And then I found my journal card when I had this down 
when you try to put it in would catch on this back one because it's just open in the back. So I went and glued a, a book page to the back so that way it um, wouldn't have any problems when it goes in and out, it wouldn't catch. So that's my differences. Um, I made it a rectangle, a different size, <coughs> punched in little thumb holes and put it on, backed it on paper, paper just so it wouldn't catch when you um, go in and out, obviously. Hold on, I got a little bit of glue on here I had to get off. Okay, I felt it, it was gonna bother me. So, now if you wanna make one a different size than um, Gail's, which was four and a half by four and a half square, all I did was I took a piece of paper and I put it on here on, a, on my journal paper to see how big I wanted it. So that's kind of how it came to be as to what size I wanted. Then all I did was I folded my pocket in half and then I folded my pocket in half this way to get the sizes that I needed for my, my woven pocket parts. Okay, <clears throat> so this I cut my backing um, four and five eighths inches wide by five and a half tall. And then I cut two of these woven pockets. Well, as you can tell, it's supposed to be two, two and five sixteenths, which is almost um, two and three eighths. But obviously, one's a little bigger than the other, which is fine. It doesn't have to be exactly, but pretty close. <laughs> Because our, our big thing, this is our, you know, our backs that we need them to be the same height. And like I said, they're not that much wider, so we can always trim it off. But, <coughs> excuse me, as I say that, I need to go ahead and just trim this little bit off of here, which I thought I did, but, you know, I didn't follow my little line all the way down, and so it was off. All right, so we have that. Now, these across here measured two and three fourths. Let me make sure before I lie. Well, that's the wrong one. That's the, even the wrong one to tell you. But yes, so it measured two and three fourths, two and three fourths by four and five eighths because that's how wide it was. But if, as you can tell, this was a piece of scrap and it doesn't exactly measure two and three fourths. It's like Oh gosh, I forgot. I should have wrote it on the back. It's two and a half, but it's still going to work. Okay. <clears throat> so let me weave these bad boys in here. So we're going to have our base like this. Oh, and I should have got some um, paper clips, which I forgot. So we're going to put this one here. And this one like this. So since it's a little, I mean a tad bit shorter, you're not going to see it because it's underneath hair, here. And since it's shorter this way, this looks more like a um, patchwork quilt type thing. So it, it doesn't have to be the exact sizes. If you have some scraps that are a little bit here and a little bit there, your biggest thing is that these two your main ones, either these two are the same size or these two are the same size because it's just got to meet somewhere so you don't have a big old spot. Okay, so now let me, let me get some paper clips. Hold on. Well, let me see if I can get four of the same color. Double hold on. I'm coming. Okay. Now, only if you want to put the little thumb notches in here, which, I don't know, we'll do this one without thumb notches just to make it easier. Okay. So, but all I did, if you want to know, I put my paper clips in. Well, let's, let's ink first, and then I'll show you if you want notches. Because I might just do notches just so you can see because it's the same thing. You just don't notch it if you're going to do it the other way. So let's just 
ink. And we only need to do that one because that's on top. And then after we're done, we'll go around the sides. That's going to be there. So I just need to ink there. I know I'm a heavy, I'm heavy, oops, I'm a heavy inker. And then this one is going to be on top. Now, this is my, um, the thinnest paper. These are kind of heavy, heavy cardstock papers. So this one is thinner, like, well, it was from that DCW, I guess. Um, it's just a little thinner. So I went ahead and backed it with some, um, oops, wrong way. I get confused. I got this in one of my your creative studio thing. It's a glue stick, so I figured, you know, I better use it before it dries up. It works pretty good. Um, I also pulled out this thing because I figured I better use them before they dry up. Now, I, I don't know what the deal is, but I can tell you, you see how my card curls? The only difference I did was use you who stick I don't know not my favorite okay so now we're going back to here but I just need to use these glue sticks up before they go bad like I said so I'm just gonna use all that I have now this one like I said is called glow smells interesting it has like some perfume to it <laughs> um let me see i saved the paper the paper wrapper let me get it real quick but just because this was much thinner than the other one i wanted to put the backing on there let me see what did i do with it i put it right here just to show you but as usual if I find it, I'll show you another time because I'll be using it again. But, because I don't know, it's called G-L-O-O, -O, like, I guess that's how they pronounce glue over there. I don't know. But um, it's from the Your Creative Studio thing. I don't know if they sell it. It's an, I got it in an older kit. So, all right. So now, what I did just to make sure it was even you know <laughs> I got to do things the hard way so I paper clipped them so I can see my middles and then this one like that because you know I like to have my thumb holes centered it's the only reason why I'm doing this Oh, the reason why it takes me much longer because I have to do things straight. Next year, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do wonky stuff. I'm gonna call it wonky wonky journey journal videos or something. I don't know. If I did, oh, y'all know something's wrong with me. <laughs> More than what's going on now. Okay, so where's my pencil? So this space is one and three quarters. So I just want to, I got to find my middle. So it looks like I need an eighth of an inch on each side. And I can put my little mark on here. And like I said, if it, if you don't need your, your thumb hole, and that's why if you don't do a thumb hole, you don't have to do this. But I wanted a thumb hole because I wanted to be different and difficult. So that's two and a quarter. So I need one and an eighth. Wait, where's my, who am I poking hole in? Oh, up here. Okay. Okay, so that would be my middle. And then I'm going to do one here, which is a little more than that, so we should be good there. 
All right, now, I know, now I'm taking them apart so I can punch my holes. See, if you don't put thumb holes in here, you don't have to do all this. You just have flat, flat stuff. That is the quicker, easy way. But, like I said, I wanted to make mine different. And you just got to find your little marks that you made. And if you want bigger thumb holes, psh, make them bigger. Like I said, it's yours. If you want it straight across, because you don't want to take so much time, don't put thumb holes in there. But if you'd like to have some detailed, extra time consuming, decorative woven pockets, then please follow my my papers. And I hope I'm in here. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. So now, since I'm not going to sew this one, because I wanted to try to show you one that's not sewn. I know. Like I said, hopefully. I'm not going to regret this, but yeah, no. So we need to make sure that we have this open. So we're going to glue let's see what would be easier. I think if I go up a hair on here, put a mark that way I know to glue these those corners. So we're going to put glue on here so we can make our little pocket. We don't have to glue the inside because this is going to secure it. I hope I'm not going to be lying to you. I did not try this beforehand. I only did the sewn one. But I wanted to show a no sew version. then let's see because we're gonna put these are gonna be our little tags you know I think we could go ahead and put a little a little glue on the side just to secure it a bit it's only paper we can just throw it in the trash can and make another one <laughs> No. Okay, and then this one we are going to back it a little this way and put our glue to there. So we're going to glue it here to here. things in my way, but I just covered my little pieces in there too. Okay, so we have that, and then we're going to glue this on here. And I can tell you, this is a little too snug in the center. It was buckling. All right, so... We're going to put this on here, so we are going to back it down a little bit. We want to glue here. I probably won't find that again. And then we are going to glue here over. Okay, so... Let me hold this so I don't forget where I'm at. We're going to glue this side. So I get a cramp in my hand. I'm just going to line that up and that up down there. Okay, and then we're going to glue. Now since, see we're not, we're not even that off like I thought it, we were going to be before. So we're going to glue 
here and on the very edge of that one. Oops. My little paper towel's covered up. All right, let me just smush all my stuff down. And see, the backs are, you know, kind of open where we didn't glue that down. So let me just make sure my stuff's going to fit in the holes. Oops, let me get it the right way. We're going to cut these in a minute, but I just want to make sure that I didn't glue something down that wasn't supposed to be glued down. I'm, I'm all right. I'm doing good so far. Whew, okay. I didn't need these stinking paper clips. All right. So now let me go ahead and we're going to glue this, our backing to it, just to, um, so we don't have, let me show you what I was talking about. All right. Where'd I, there it is. Like, where's my tag? I made a blank one. Because when you put it in here, you see how it catches? Because it's catching on this open pocket there. But if you glue that down, I guess if you would tack that down just a little bit, then it might not catch. Let me hold it and see. Yeah, I'm still feeling the ledge. So, I, I just feel better putting the um, book page on the back. So, and all you do is, all, all I'm doing is putting just a thin line of glue around the back. It doesn't need to be, you know, all the rest on there. Now, if you want to glue that puppy down, go for it. But this will be enough because you're just trying to keep the, those open weaves from being hit. Alright. It is so funny because I'm using um Rich Man Poor Man book from in an old Rich Man Poor Man book. And one of the guys' name is Rudolph. So every time I see this book page, you know it's Rudolph and I'm playing with Christmas stuff. So I'm like, oh it's Rudolph. Uh oh. I need to go right there because I didn't glue that edge down all the way. Because that's where we backed it off, you know. Alright. And I can kind of tell I have a little bit hanging right here. So, I want to trim it because it makes me feel better. Alright, and let's ink around our corners. Upside down. That's why those words are on there. <laughs> so it reminds me that's the right side up. All right, and let me just go ahead and um, I'm not going to need this ruler. Let me get it out of my way. All right, let's just ink around our tag. So I just went ahead and glued it. This is just some more um, eight and a half by eleven paper. I'm sure it's that DCW or whatever that I got. Um, in a paper packet, Hobby Lobby. You know when they used to have those loose sleep ones when you, when they had good sales. They don't have them good sales anymore. Now you're lucky you get them four for a dollar. Oh, and then like what two years ago when Joann's used to have their twelve by twelves, twenty for two dollars. I mean it was like twenty cents a piece. But nope, not anymore. But I'm tell you, I got tons of that, so I need to work with that. All right, so that's our back page. Now, this is just some digital paper that I printed. This one's on cream stock, and this one is on cream stock. So I just got to see. I think this is going to be, that's going to be too busy on this side. So I might want to put snowflakes here, which means. I'm going to put my stripies here and my stripies there. Okay, the only reason why I say that is because these are going to be cut different sizes. So my longest one 
is um, four and a quarter tall, which is going to be this one. So I'm going to cut two that's four and a quarter, which is, you know, half of this. So let's just cut it at four and a quarter. And that's going to go in this hole. Oh, this is going to be short, but we're going to put a tap. What is that on my... Oh, I thought I had a hole. Because before I had the bow on there, that's why I did the four and a quarter, but we're going to put um, ribbon on here, so it's still going to be good. But if you want them longer, by all means, cut them as long as you want. And then this one um, is three and three eighths tall. I know. I'm thinking for a minute. No, we got to let me stick with my my original three and three eighths. Just because I can't, I don't want anything going over these pages because I'm pushing it on my thing and see if it ha if it hung over, it wouldn't fit into our little um, journal page. Okay, three and three eighths, and so I'm gonna. That's gonna be in that side. So this is my my scrap. I'm put it in my bin, um, and then I'm gonna take these. And I think I like that part of the snowflake up. Let me round my little corners on the bottoms. So that will be those, and then I want these like this. I think I want that. Okay, and then we'll round these corners. All right, and then, I don't see, my, anyway, I just have defective stuff. All right, and then, where am I? Oh yeah, this little thing, hold on, let me, gotta find my little corner cheater thing, which I put away. Of course, I put it away. I need the little one that's buried. All right. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna cut our little taggy, taggy things. All right, and then these into little tacky things. Alright, that doesn't look, it might just be the checks <laughs> that are messing with me. But that does not look straight. Alright. Okay, so we have our little tags. Put that in front. Alright, let me just ink around here. And this is on, I guess that's 60 pound paper, because it's um, Recollections. So I think there's this, they claim it's 60 pounds, but you know, this sure feels like that 45 pound uh, copy paper I have. But But this is a you know a good project to do for using up your scraps if you got you know those, and you know you can make it any size you want. You can make it smaller, wider. Just find your four pieces of scraps or two and two, and find out what what size pocket you know you're gonna have, and then make you one. So we have those. Now my problem is I got crumbs is my problem. It's gonna drive me crazy. All right. I know. Short trip. 
So let me see. We're going to I have these. I'm using these from um, All Things Christmas from the Junk Journal Studio. And all I did, I decided I wanted to pull some more of that black. So I just um, took it and I'm going to put it on this um, black cardstock. And that way it just helps pull the black into a little bit more. Mainly because I had sewed around the other thing and I was pulling in some of the black from the black thread. But this just kind of looked, well here, see if you see that on here. It's just a little plain, but if you like, like it without the black, that's fine. You could put some doily behind it or some of the green paper or the little brown paper, but I was just trying to pull some more of this black into it. Let me just, oops, swipe my little image down. And then I'm just lightly giving it a little, just a little bit around it, just to help frame the little picture. Okay, and then I think I just talked myself into, because I think the big hole reinforcer, because this is going to be, I'm going to use this gold, I guess it's one eighth of an inch about, it looks like. Well, if I can grab it with my finger. Yep, one eighth. Um, it's off ray. I don't know where I got it. Have no clue. And then this one. Oops. Hold on, I'm gonna roll over my pocket in the bows. This one. Oops. Got it last year, I think, at the Dollar Tree. It's just, um, says grow grain with, um, it's got gold metallic on the inside. I thought that would be pretty for the big one. All right. But my problem is my big one, I can have a big reinforcer hole, but my little ones, I can't. So where, 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 okay, we have this. I think we can just make some holes out of this. And this one that does the three hole punch and someone had asked before it's the paper studio so I got it from um, Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna punch the small one out so we can make little reinforcer holes on the front well that one didn't work. I had it too close to the edge. Okay, I need one more. So to any addition that you do, if so, write in the comments what y'all's tradition, if you have one. Or is it just you sitting at home around the table? Like I said, it's just the two of us, but I cook enough for 20. And trust me, oh, it might take us a while, but we do eat it. By the fourth or fifth day, I'm kind of tired of turkey, to be honest. But I make turkey pot pie with it. And then we do, you know, lots of... Well, usually two turkey dinners afterwards, and then turkey sandwich and turkey pot pie. And by then, I've had enough of our friend. All right, so there's that tag. Oops. And we're going to put these on here, but I got to ink around it. I know. Well, it's going to stick to my finger. Yep, my finger. My finger fingers. And my phone says we're spo it's supposed to rain either today or tomorrow. I got to look at it. When I'm done filming after I go upload, I have to go see what the heck. Rain. I know Tootsie says she wants to get out of her prison. 
She's not limping as bad, but we got to go down there and actually look at her foot and see. Because last time we let her out too soon and she got worse. So I don't want to let her out too soon and her get worse. And I guess I should have kept my little tweezers because my fingers are so big, you know. I got to be able to see what the heck I'm doing. All right, so we'll just put that one there. But yep, get up in the morning, make our pumpkin pie. First thing, so that way you can do this little setting up while we get the turkey in there, get that going. Then we got to, you know, then you start all this stuff. I mean, you mess everything up in your house. Oh, my God. I mean, every dirty, every dish you got. I mean, it's amazing. It's just crazy. We gotta peel potatoes so we can make mashed potatoes. Then we have um, yams that we make. And then we have um, green beans and usually corn, but maybe maybe I can talk John out and not have him corn. And um, stuffing. And then he has this, he eats that cranberry sauce stuff. I don't I don't like it, but he eats that. Oh, and then gravy for our our mashed potatoes in turkey. I think that's all that we have. And then we have, I used to make two two pies, but then we ate them. Oh. But like at Christmas, I always do um, pecan pie and pumpkin pie. I, we just ate an apple pie. John wanted an apple pie, so he already had that this week. So he doesn't need another one. But we're going to eat a pumpkin pie. And let me tell you, okay, we're going to have pumpkin pie with Cool Whip. Let me clarify that. So, <laughs> there is a pumpkin pie underneath the mound of Cool Whip. But, oh, it's so good. All right, and let me just put a dot so I can get it in the center. I know. Not that I'm going to get there, but I can at least maybe see where I'm going. I sure wish they'd make these things, you know, open-ended so us crafters can see where the heck we're putting our, our holes at. I guess that's why people rip the bottoms of their thing off so they can see. I don't know. Maybe next year I'll get frustrated enough and rip that puppy off. Because I have noticed a few ladies that don't have the bottom to their thing, so I'm guessing that's why. So they can see their their spot better where they want to punch their holes all right so now I just need to decide who's going where. So if I put Santa in here, yeah, because he says Merry Christmas. So we put Santa here. But then it's going to make my snowman sideways. I can put my snowman here. My Santa be cute there. Who's not going to bother me sideways? Poinsettias. Oh, okay, bells are going to have to be sideways because they can't be hanging upside down, <clears throat> which is going to make my poinsettias that away. All right, I got a plan. So let me. Do that. And like I said, if you want to put more on here, you can put, you know, a little doily down there. On, on these, you know, there's not really a lot of more, a lot of room, but on the longer ones, there's a little more room to put more decorations on. And let me get my little round makeup brush because I'm not going to put reinforcers holes on the back. I know. I'm not. I'm just going to put a little dot. 
Okay, there's that one. Yeah, we're going to do him. Right side up. Just because it might be upside down doesn't mean you need to put it that way. Okay. That one. And put Santa on here. Santa baby. Are y'all on the naughty list or the nice list this year? I'm sure I'm on the naughty. Always am. I'm always in trouble. Fergie's always on the naughty list. Oh my gosh. That dog. She just has so much energy. She's in the wrong household. <laughs> she's crazy. I mean, that girl, man, she's fast as lightning. You, you know, every time you let her out, I mean, she just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in front of the thing. Just, I mean, full speed. Cut our little doobappies. Oh, we still have to decorate um, this one, which all I did was I'm using holly on this one from um, Vertical Christmas from the Jump Journal Studio. But I wanted to put a, a word, something underneath there. I just printed a few of them. Um, maybe Holly Season. That's kind of cute. Because I didn't print them all. I mean, I have a bunch of words, but I have them in cursive. And I didn't want cursive because I wanted more. So I didn't, like, you know, make them all. But I, before it's all said and done with, I might have to. Alright, so I think I'm going to do Holly Season. Because everything else, we got holly and mistletoe. But I think I'm just going to stick with season. I know, let's have something easy on this project. <laughs> and, easy. and if you're curious, this is um, Traveling Typewriter. It's a font that we downloaded. Um, but that's what that is, if anybody wants to know. And I think that might just be too big of a word. Yeah. Let me trim a little more. Of the white off. Put my brush up before I lose it. You know, things have a way of just going poof. It starts with a G and it ends with an X. Yep. All right. I'm wondering if we think we need to go ahead and trim this down let me let me go ahead and cut it I think you might be safe cutting it at doing it at three and three fourths no matter if you sew it or not so let me just take an eighth of an inch off of each side 
because that will make me feel much better. Well, not quite an eighth of an inch, but close enough. Just because, you know, in case you're a heavy gluer, you want to give yourself a little bit of leeway there. And let me see. I don't look straight. Because I wasn't. Alright, let's retrim our bottom with the large half inch rounders. Okay. And then re ink it. I just think the narrower one is going to work for this. Well, you have less trouble of it sticking or being too snug or too tight. And especially if you, you know, decorate it or embellish it too thick, then you're going to run into a little bit of that problem. So, like I said, that crocodile. Sometimes it cuts perfect, most of the time not. All right, let me just trim my little word. Trim my word out. Way out, way out. Do y'all remember the Flintstones when that little Martian came? And they said, oh, that was actually another band called The Way Out. And they sang their song, Way Out. Getting ready to trim too much, and then we'll be upset. Stop. All right, get rid of my crummies. Okay, so we have Holly and then Season. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that because I want my trees to show. Like I said, I backed this on some black cardstock also just so it'll pull some more of the black out just to help it stand out a little more on the page. All right. Got to Holly. Just hold that up and make sure. Because, you know, just because you're think it's straight laying down when you hold it up. It might not be. Oh, well, I got something I got I want to try. Let's get this on here. I know, let's finish this project first, but I'm going to forget. Let me pull out how much time I got. Oh, heck no. Oh, that's six minutes. I'm bad. My little timer is kind of funky. My, you know, I got it from Dollar Tree, but my little numbers aren't displaying properly. Okay, so that's that. And let's go ahead and cut some tab. Oops. And let's see about singeing it a little bit without causing a forest fire. Pooey. That gold metallic stuff stinks. Alright. Is there anybody who's shinier? Little girl, what are you eating back there? Stop. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. She's got a piece of paper on the floor. I no, I threw it on the floor. She's eating it. That dog. I remember my stepmom then, they had a beagle. And when she got older, she got whatever that disease is that, that you want to eat all the time. It's supposed to be a predisposition of the of a beagle. Sometimes I wonder about her because she does. She will go around the floor and she will eat dust off the floor, or dog hair. I'm like, good grief, woman. Like the human vacuum cleaner. Well, then she gets the fur ball and then she'll all that crud. See, I think my little things might be too short. 
Let's see. Where's my pocket? Right here. We glue that down here. No. Oop. I don't know. I might recut it. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. Because depending on what um, journal I put it in, I might change it anyway. Because I use this. It has a little bit of blue in there in case I want to put it in my, my blue and green one. So that's kind of why I use that one. Just in case. Alright, where's my... Here you go. Let's put all these on here. And see, now I'm going to end up, I'm probably going to make these too long since I made those, that one too short. Let's just see how long long is. But I still think I might have to Oops. Oop, don't blow or talk while you're burning the ends. The flame will go out. Okay. But, oh, I said Mr. Snowman was going this way. Okay, so that's going to be good size. So I just need to cut two more. the little one done I know see my stuff takes entirely too much <laughs> so don't poke your holes in there oh good grief where's my top where my glue dries out I was doing because I was whining. Who we? But yeah. Wait, did I say? I think Poinsettias was going that way. No, Poinsettia was going upside because I didn't want my bells to be. Oh, that's a Poinsettia on Poinsettia. Uh oh. I lied. Darn, I glued the wrong ones on there. Oh well. That is what happens sometimes. Because y'all wasn't paying attention. I was running my mouth. So my bells are going to be hanging upside down. But, well. So if any, any of y'all, whoo, my chair just rolled back. If any of y'all were saying, the wrong one, wrong one, I didn't listen to you at all. I had my fingers in my ear. Go la 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 la. Don't put your finger there either. It will burn you. And see if you had another little little word that you can put on there. That would be cute, you know, if you want to bling it up some more. But now we got upside down bells. Because Candace wasn't paying attention. Because she was running her mouth. I'm bound to determine to burn that finger. All right. So, there you go. We got that little pocket. And then if you wanted to, if you wanted to get extra festive. Oh, doggone it. I moved my buttons on myself. Hold on. Just to show you, if you wanted to, this one might be too big. You can always stick a little bow, I mean a button in the middle. 
or one of um, Michelle has little flat buttons on there but I'm out of time so there you go we made a woven pocket with the journal tag that was inspired by Gail on Gail Augustinelli so there's that one and then this is the other one oh gosh where are they oh Oh, there they are. I'm like, no, I just lost my little bows. Okay, let me put these in here real quick because I'm running out of time. Oh, he doesn't go that way. I think I had, him up, I had Rudolph upside down. I know I had this one this way, pine cone. Um, we had this and my little girl. And then this one. Okay, so there you go. That's our two little... Um, woven pockets that were inspired by Gela Gustinelli and I will link her video not that y'all haven't seen it or know it but I'm gonna I, you know that's what you're supposed to do I'm gonna link her video because I know what it is I went and found it before I even did this so I will link her video and I will make sure that I will put um Michelle's at the junk journal studio her stuff on here too for y'all just in case um but get your scraps out and make uh some some little woven pockets and if you don't sew it looks just as cute non-sewed, but if you sew, it looks really cute sewed. So, haha, <laughs> so, 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 so. And then if you want to do more bling, you could put like um, a sequin in the middle of there. I'm just saying, I might have to do one like that too now that, but man, cutting them bows out. Ugh. But aren't they cute? All right, guys, I will see y'all later. Um, Thanks for watching. Thanks sh for sharing some of your time with me. Thanks for sharing some of your day with me. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope y'all gobble gobble till you wobble wobble. And we will see you on the next one. Uh, so y'all have a great day and a blessed day. Lots of kisses. Lots of love. And I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.